Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jam family. I am JD. And I'm Anjali. Hum ache hai kaise up. And today we're going to, we're going to do a movie review. Yes. Of, of what movie? Buggy Big one. one. Yeah. With? Shada Kapoor I Love and Tiger Shroff. Mm-hmm. It was awesome, yeah. right? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had seen, I think, I don't know if we had seen the whole movie all the way through the mm-hmm. before, yeah. but it it was so much better than I remembered. Anticipated. Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the fight scenes, the love story, right? Yeah, we did definitely did not do the fight scenes. Those were like... Mm-hmm. Those were awesome. Those were a shock, yeah. 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 Like, such... He... Tiger has such... Uh, such martial arts ability like he yeah. is so smooth like he can flip he can mm-hmm. do like anything yeah. basically some it's aerodynamics awesome. in it so yeah it's it like he awesome. has a black belt um, i yeah. think he has more than that yeah. all of the belts all of the belts as mm-hmm. many as he can have yeah he definitely is amazing that is yeah. definitely his strength mm-hmm. um you know he yeah that's definitely yeah. his strength i think and i think he movie. has more belts than Andre has yeah I think Anji saw some of the moves she knew, though, in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I did see somebody, like, tap out when he got, like, pinned. Uh-huh. So I was like, oh, see, even I know some karate stuff um, th- from being a karate mommy. Um, yeah, but this movie was really cute. The storyline, you know, kind of did a little back, you know, they kind of went back. They went, like, foreshadowing. Yeah. So, like, you have the actual thing inside of it, so you have the ending basically in the beginning and then it goes back to like the way beginning right Mm -hmm. well almost the ending yeah kind of show you how she gets kidnapped and then later Mm -hmm. you see how what led up to the kidnapping yeah how did it get there and uh, a little bit how they met and their love story um of the two of them you know it really reminds me of the story of ram and sita yeah Mm -hmm. and that uh you know the uh Robin. Ramayan. Yeah, from Ramayan, where Robin mm-hmm. comes and, like, takes Sita away, mm-hmm. and then Ram has to save her. And the names are especially similar. Yeah, mm-hmm. there because, was a lot of similar names. Yeah, in it. because Shraddha Kapoor's name in it is, like Sita, it's Seiya. Like yeah, mm-hmm. Sia. Yeah, Sia. Sia. Yeah, Sia. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, wasn't somebody named Hanuman? Yeah, oh, it yeah. was, like, a cab driver, the, the basically. The funny cab yeah. drivers. Yeah. They were hilarious. Yeah. They, I really think they funny. just kind of got stuck in, mm-hmm. um, it, it ended up being good, but I was like, they could have really been hurt or something really bad could yeah. have happened to them. Yeah, like um, they get in a car crash. I was thinking more they got beat up or killed. Yeah. Those that. guys that were chasing uh, Tiger Shroff were after mm-hmm. him, like, for, like, to get him. Yeah. Um, so, but it was kind of funny how they got in played into it and and they were hilarious yeah they yeah. were so that made some humor in it you know mm-hmm. and um yeah even t- and they uh, thought that he was italian so. yeah they thought he was italian yeah. he was like, so they could speak in hindi and um and he tiger shroff the whole way could understand that. everything they said and then he started speaking in hindi and he, they're like oh crap and they're like oh no please don't turn us in um yeah, it was, it, they were funny. They were definitely mm-hmm. the funniest yeah. part of that movie. Um, so kept it light, I think, that, yeah. and then the love story. And then, like, speaking of, like, the names, like, mm-hmm. Tiger Shroff's name is, like, Ronnie in the movie. Right. Which is very mm-hmm. similar to the hero in the Right, Romayan. like Ron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it definitely had that feeling, like, you know, they, you know, Ram and Sita were in, so much in love. Yeah. Know? And and the rain comes. That was the other yeah. thing. Like, yeah, the rain was, like, the symbol of their togetherness. Yeah. Because yeah. every single time it rained, they would be, like, together. They would, like, find mm. each other. And another thing is, like, I don't want to really spoil anything. But, like, well, the... Hopefully you guys have seen it before yeah, hopefully you, you have. watch our review. Um, yes. But the time when she got kidnapped by him the second time when he was, like, basically a monster, he called himself. Mm-hmm. Mm. It rained, and she was like, he's here. And he's, like, laughing at her, like, you crazy? And she's yeah. like, I Well, because told you, you, so. you thought mm-hmm. Tiger had died. Yeah. And but, then when he brought her back, yeah, he was, yeah. like, you know, basically, like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to be nice to you anymore. And you, sh- you have nothing to, like, he's gone, so you have nothing 
to look forward to. And yeah, it was like it anyway, started to rain and started she's like, thunder and she's he's, like, he's here. He's here. Where did that happen? Oh, Mahu Bali. Oh, yeah. 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 Bali. I was like, where do I know that from? Yeah, she knew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That he was he was there. Um, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That part. Uh, but yeah, it does. It reminds me so much of the love story between mm-hmm. Ram and Sita, and, yeah, and how they uh, love story. Uh, <laughs> so much love in the Jan family. <laughs> um, you know how the evil comes and takes her away, yeah. and, and he has to fight him and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, the difference with the characters a little bit is that um, the Rob Rogby Rogby Ronnie. Yeah. No, Ronnie is Tiger Shroff. Yeah, who's the 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 bad the bad son what's his name it's mm-hmm. like robin. robin robin yeah Robin. so he i feel like played it well but i feel mm-hmm. like he should have been maybe a little bit older a little bit bigger yeah like because robin sita like robin is like really big, big like and, mean. and he wasn't like tiger shroff started out muscular like yeah. the whole way well, he's always like, he's always muscular yeah. and um the person who, like, kind of, like, played Robin, like, the bad guy, yeah. wasn't as muscular as he would have been. Like, he should have been, like, much more bigger than mm-hmm. Tiger. Right. Like, taller and bigger. Like, and he was bo- handsome, yeah. and he, like, had really But the good way moves, they portrayed they him, like, he, they portrayed him as, like, the best of the best, and, like, right. awesome, and, like, really strong. But he didn't look that way. He looked, like, more of, like just like a rich person right Mm -hmm. right he wasn't as buff as tiger and i feel like yeah to play in that role he should have been a little bit more like bigger bigger, taller taller, things like that yeah um i think he played a good part but i think they needed a better like person to play yeah because tiger is so yeah buff and because Mm -hmm. of like the story yeah like how the story because we are connecting it to remind so yeah maybe that wasn't the whole behind the scene but but they said like he's like the best of the best and he's like really big and strong so he i think he should have been like big and and stronger than tiger Tiger would Mm -hmm. yeah and i don't know if anybody can do that but yeah yeah you know, like, at least, like, taller or something. At least taller, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. seem like he should have been able to beat him up. I mean, I get some of it is skill. Like, you don't mm-hmm. always have to be bigger and stronger to beat yeah. up. Yeah. But I feel like, else. I feel like it should have switched roles when they went to, like, that club kind of place. And mm-hmm. he was, like, seven foot and then it was, like, five. And yeah. then Tiger Shroff. I feel like he, that seven foot guy, should have played Robin. Like, the main yeah. character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You needed somebody like that. Because he was, like, like tall, big. And big. Tall. Scary, yeah, scary looking. This guy looked a little bit more like you said, like the rich kid's son. Yeah, um, you know. But the scenery, a lot of it was like yeah, Kerala. Was, yeah, and the boat race. The boat race was that was so awesome. awesome. And Chum Chum Chum. And Chum Chum. That was yeah. my favorite song in- on the train. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they had really good other songs, and especially like every single song was like when it rained or when they yeah. went near water. It was mm-hmm. so awesome. Like was so rain funny. was like. Mm-hmm. Mm. Rain was the, yeah. I think anytime she looked out the window or looked out, you know, kind of looking out yeah. past whatever was mm-hmm. in front of her, yeah. that was kind of when it happened. Or like when mm-hmm. they almost missed each other in the, um, in, in the, the like street, basically, yeah. yeah. Like they passed mm-hmm. each other, mm-hmm. and then and it started so... raining, and he like ran, and mm-hmm. she's like in the rain, like yeah. Yeah. And everybody's like, what is happening here? Like, <laughs> how do they know each other, kind of? Exactly. Which is funny. And they're like, why is she still in the rain? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. another thing, part where I think, like, rain symbolizes stuff is because after it stopped raining, she was like, my father's not on the train. Right. And he ran back and he missed the train, but it right. wasn't raining. So, like, they got separated when it wasn't raining. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even when they were fighting, like, when he brought her back... And she was, like, so she mad at him. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he was trying to be strong and say, like, he still didn't love her because she didn't meet him when yeah. he left. Um, mm-hmm. Because she, w- I think, was confused. Like, her dad was, because he had taken the money, had and kind of... he banged himself against the wall. So, right. And he said, like, oh, um, Ronnie beat me up. Like Right. So he... I think she was trying to believe her father and then he was trying to because, tell her it was not true yeah because she's known as her father like her whole life right. so she's like i want to believe my father but 
do like, I really know this is true? Like, like I want to also, like, go to Ronnie. Like, yeah. she was, like, very so, confused. So even though they were kind of bickering mm-hmm. with each other, the rain started, too. Yeah. So I think that kind of washed away all that um, animosity towards mm-hmm. each other and kind yeah. of worked it out. Um, you know, that was that was pretty amazing. Um, yeah. The father, uh, Guru Swami, he was... He was probably one of the best characters. He was. He and, was yeah. by far, yeah. Yeah. He he just had that, um, I don't know. He had that father feel, but, like, he didn't mm-hmm. feel that for his son. Like, Tiger Shroff felt as if he were, like, his father. Like, yeah. I got that feel to it because he was the only right. person that Tiger Shroff would have listened to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tiger Shroff definitely needed him to kind of mm-hmm. kick him in the butt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that he could train him properly and i think he saw potential in him because and, yeah. their fathers were like friends, friends from yeah. like the army kind of place mm-hmm. and his father sent like kind of like a will kind of like if you breathe this i'm already dead but right. i want you to take care of like my, my son but he, mm-hmm. his son didn't know what was happening he's like what's yeah. going on and he was still in that like i'm gonna do whatever i want kind yeah of mode and um he really did kind of show him, like, even though he was sh- having him do what you thought was, like, meaning not meaningful work. Like, he was helping in the kitchen. No, but, like, you could was... tell it was going to, like, help him in the process. Yeah. Like, you could, like, feel that in the movie. Mm-hmm. But, like, in his, um, in his basically conscience, he was like, why is this person doing this to me why am i letting him doing this to me right. like, w- like what am i doing he's here? making me do all these you know when things. i should be like training. like i should but be with he, the... his training yeah i think he felt like he should be in line with the others yeah like, doing this stuff because the others are like throwing coconuts at him to help him like learn right. but he doesn't know that so and then no. they start like throwing them at him so they're right. kind of like making fun of him while he's doing this stuff right but it ends up being hit part of his training, and he doesn't realize. Yeah. Like it takes him that moment when you know uh, Guru Swami is like, like going to hit him, and he's blocking it and doing the things mm-hmm. that, and then he realizes like, oh, he has been training me, and it's like agility stuff. It's like keeping on your yeah. toes and um, those kind of things. Like mm-hmm. it just that that part when he connected that that I loved that part. Yeah. One of the funniest kind of funny parts but like is when he decided to like start training and he pushed the block and he was like i can do this and it just hit him straight in the (laughs) stomach yeah he's like oh i just did that and then you're like um no no Uh, Yeah. yeah that yeah but the father i it was sad to see that he i mean i feel like he knew his son was bad but yeah. at the same time, like, I wish he had been I wish he had stayed longer. in the movie longer. Yeah, like, he was such a key Because his role. son poisoned him. And that was, like, that was, like, harsh, like, straight up, like... Yeah. Yeah. Just, like, evil. Like, right. He, well, yeah, he is. And he, like, learned that at the end. But I feel like the father shouldn't have died so soon. Right. And because, like, he also, like, helped train, like, Tiger Shroff and, like, there was, like, that... And he helped, like, he showed Tiger Shroff moves that he wouldn't show his own son. Like, death moves, basically. Right. Mm-hmm. And that we don't catch until the very end. Yeah, we don't. So you, you get the feeling at the end, like, mm-hmm. he knew his son was bad. And Especially... that he taught Tiger the way he would want to teach his son. Because he knew yeah. Tiger had a good heart in the end. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And especially when he, I feel like this is where he got to the point where he was like, I'm going to poison my father. Even though that was, like shouldn't ever have happened in the movie or maybe like more at the end but like shouldn't have happened in the beginning but he his father he was talking about how he's going to kill tiger shroff because he was like i want sia Mm -hmm. um shroud kapoor basically and he came in and he's like you're not killing him as long as i'm alive and he's like okay yeah i kind of knew that was coming after yeah but it was like i didn't really expect mm -hmm. From the food, because he was like, sorry, I didn't either. father, like... Uh, but here's the thing, he was feeding him with more of a spoon, like last time he mm-hmm. fed him with like his hand, yes. uh, and he did the spoon, and I was like, nope, this is not going to end well. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true, because... Usually you'd feed someone like with your hands, hands, and you wouldn't use a spoon, but he was eating with his hand, but he used a spoon to feed his father. Right. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't yeah. eating that piece of food on his plate. 
Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he dumped it in the water when his father was trying to, like, wash it out. Um, that, that was just, yeah. yeah. His character definitely was pure evil. One it. thing I really wish would have happened, even if he tried to poison his father, I wish Tiger Shroff came in and did that move he did too. Tiger Shroff, when he had alcohol in him, I wish he did uh, that move so he just spit it, like out. Throw it out. Yeah. yeah. But I guess it happened all for a reason because then I feel like he took that him as inspiration to kind of not only like continue the school, but then yeah. he ended up, mm-hmm. you know, going to save Sia and that I, I don't know. I just do feel like he was such an awesome character that mm-hmm. I wish he had been stayed a bit longer and mm-hmm. you know, found out his son was bad, but then maybe you know, got to be in it a little bit longer. Or, like, didn't tell his son, like, um, you shouldn't kill this person as long as I live. Like, don't say that, because then, like, you know that's going to happen. Yeah, you knew that was But, coming. like, if the father w- didn't say that, if the father, like, kept silent, but then, like, saved Tiger Shroff at the end for himself, mm. that would have been, like, a great part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was definitely a, a awesome movie, yeah. and Tiger definitely reminds me, you know, like, that. there was a few quotes in it that I really liked. It was, um, you know, he kind of was like, oh, martial arts started in China, and, you know, you guys are just yeah. doing what do you know, and he was like, well, let me like, tell le- you. I'm going to go to China, so <laughs> I don't have to deal with this, right. like, you trying to better. train me. <clears throat> But he was like, where do you think it started from? Like, it because started in India. Because Buddha. Buddha was from, you know, came from India. Yeah. And it moved to China, and then they adapted it into their own. Mm-hmm. But that that was one of the, my favorite quotes when he said that. And yeah. then when the Chinese guy was trying to kill him at the end. He was basically, like, there was levels. So he was basically one, the top level before um, he went to, like, save Sita, mm-hmm. like, where not Sita, Seiya was, you know, um, but he was called, like, um, machine killer, basically, Mm -hmm. because he was a machine, and he would kill kill anyone, yeah, Yeah. and before they did that, they actually killed his brother, which made him even more mad Mm -hmm. and upset, so that happened, I also think, like, the idea of, like, the levels reminded me of, like, Saho, which just came out, and I think Saho might have been, like, inspired, inspired. by that, yeah, like those level levels. you went on, you be- beat up people. Yeah, and, and there would be, like... Bigger people, and... Yeah, like, bigger people, and plus, like, I would feel like the least experienced fighters down here, and the most experienced mm-hmm. fighter was up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was really interesting, though, how the building was built, because even though he was, like, rich... The building inside was like rusted, kind of. Yeah, and outside didn't look pretty. Like, no, to look but at. When it, but when you went to the top floor, he had like luxury a penthouse. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a beautiful inside on the top floor. But the rest of it, and I don't know if that was to keep people out. Like it had that really like cement feeling, and yeah, like each floor was yeah. just kind of like basic. Some of the walls weren't even finished kind of stuff. But yeah. then up top, yeah, it was, like, beautiful. Yeah. Jaden, what was your favorite fight scene? There was so much fighting oh, in God. this. Uh, and martial arts. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, tell me a few of your favorite moves that Tiger Shroff did. I liked when the, his father, like, flipped him over. And then he, he didn't actually use his hand. He just flipped up. Oh, he like just, from... like, got up. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll, okay. like... Instead of, like, reaching for the father's hand mm-hmm. since he was so upset that he, like, lost, kind mm-hmm. of, he, like, flipped back up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he did that for a lot of other scenes with, like, him fighting more of bad guys instead mm-hmm. of the father. Like, mm-hmm. he, like, got back up. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that, which was really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He definitely has that Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan feel, yeah. like, very martial artsy. Um, just amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I liked, you know, he goes through, like, the up the side of the building through that scaffolding that oh, really reminded yeah. me of Jackie Chan like going through that I kind of was expecting him to whip out like one of those bamboo poles and whip people with it too but yeah he, did. <laughs> he didn't do it but I was kind of expecting that like um the some of the other scenes the other one I like is the when he goes through the taxi 
Mm. Oh, that was yeah. awesome. He just ran through it and did it. And when we saw the bloopers, it took a lot longer <laughs> it took a than... a lot of tries. <laughs> and I think it got hurt a few times yeah. trying. Mm-hmm. But the shot, when they did get it was right, it was awesome. awesome. It yeah. was, like, really did, like, amazing. Pop in and then fly out the other side. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a lot of really cool mm-hmm. scenes. There was a lot of good he scenes. He does a lot of um, very aerodynamic, like, flipping... Uh, or, like, his whole body. when he does, like, the death things, like, mm-hmm. you can, like, like they'll show, like, kind of, like, an inside of the body shot. That was an awesome idea. That was I awesome. I've never seen that I before. really liked, I've actually, I think I've seen it in, like, one more movie. I okay. forget what it was. But, like, I loved when they did do that in, like, movies or shows because then you can, like, see how it cracked. And it was, right. It was mm-hmm. so awesome. Yeah, I thought that was a cool idea, like. He would hit him, and then you would see, like, crack, or he mm-hmm. would hit him somewhere else, and you'd see, like, that's what... He, like, the you would see inside, and it would be, inside. like... Uh-uh. Because it doesn't look that mm-hmm. bad, but then when they showed that part... I was, was like, really, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty mm-hmm. awesome. What about, um, there was another move, Jaden. Um. Do you remember? No, not really. The leg move. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! I love it! Okay, this one wasn't as bad because when we did the other trailers, they had a lot more people who four. did that leg crack. Yeah. Like four or more. Yeah. But this one only had one. But as soon as he did it, like the guy felt it. Like he was like, ow, God. But like it didn't crack right away. And then it cracked. And as soon as he laid on the floor, it was still like cracked. Like it wouldn't yeah. be like. I was like, that is really yeah, good. He, you. You could tell he got hurt, but he went to go punch him. Yeah. And then he fell because he couldn't. Yeah, he, he was like. Move, and it cracked. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, and it bends the opposite yeah. direction that it's supposed to. Uh, it really gives mm-hmm. you the heebie jeebies. Yeah. That's the only way I can say it. What's the heebie jeebies? Like, ooh. Um, yeah. It, I like cringing. Mm hmm. You don't have the heebie jeebies? No. Ever. You had <laughs> cringing, or heebie jeebies, as mommy calls it. Yeah. <laughs> when we watched. Um, the third trailer. Mm. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's all right. But yeah, that leg break was probably, I think it's like a signature in that movie Yeah. Because I but feel they like, like I saw it in two and three. Yeah, they did it in two and three, like in the trailers. But they go like up, like they do more people as they go on. But mm-hmm. I feel like, I think the second one had the most people because they, they were like all surrounding. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has that, um. Jackie Chan feel, you know, yeah. they do the bloopers at the end, which was funny. So which was really funny, yeah. Practice. Like, Shada was really trying to kick some butt in there, but she saw some bloopers from her, too. I, I feel like Tiger... You saw bloopers from her, like, when she did, like, Chum Chum. Yeah. She was like, was one, one more take. Wait, one more take. One more take. Um, Tiger looked like he got hurt a few times, though. Yeah. Uh, doing and some, some of the of people really that he caught cool. yeah. And some of the people got hurt, too. Like, yeah. I don't think he meant to do it, but... The way the move was, and then yeah, he kicked he too hard, or like kicked did them. Around. Yeah, <laughs> um, I guess it's like a, how many that. like feet you're far away. Like you mm-hmm. have to get the distance perfect, otherwise you're actually like gonna hurt jam them. Pack. Well, yeah. yeah, and and you want it to look authentic, which real. It really, yeah. I feel like it did. <laughs> there were only a few spots where I was like, okay, somebody. There was like a strength, That's like a little at fake. the end, like yeah. Shada when she flew into the fireplace, like that looked a little bit like she had string on her, you know, like and that. Or she, like when they did that to pulsing, which was awesome, right? But like you could kind of tell, like there was, there was something there, something and another thing was it. like, mm-hmm. uh, like the man was doing it too, so it was like, um, like yeah. maybe if Tiger Shroff was just doing it. Then I would, like, believe it more, but, like... It was definitely, uh, yeah, there were definitely a few spots that I was, like, ah, there was a little bit of green screen or a little bit of string or a little bit of, like, you know, photography action going on there. But Mm -hmm. probably 90% of his moves are authentic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, He is probably unbelievable in the martial arts. It's awesome. You know, we know, like, Ashke Kumar has his black belt... And maybe second degree? I'm not really sure. I know he's not a first degree. I know he's a black Yeah, I think guy. it I think we read it like second degree. Yeah. And so we know he does martial arts. I don't really see that in any of his movies and he doesn't no. do it in this kind of capacity. Like, the only person that could not even like come close but like be like there for him, like close kind of close to him, would be probably Rithic. 
which doesn't right. do, he doesn't do as much martial arts like he's right. not in the martial arts category but he's but muscular pretty, like yeah muscular similar. and like what he does with like dancing and stuff like that he's pretty mm-hmm. close yeah. to tiger Shroff, and they're like really good actors and they like like working well, together yeah. and tiger mm-hmm. looks up to him yeah which is amazing yeah rithic has a little bit more like he's very athletic He's ballet bit, kind of thing. Yeah, like, like he'll kick his leg like really high and do it. Like, yeah, I yeah. feel like he has a little bit more dance gymnastics, ballet like mm-hmm. a- exercise in that. Yeah. Whereas Tiger is very athletic and mm-hmm. martial, very martial. Like I feel yeah. like even his dance moves become martial art moves. Yeah, but like, I feel like um, if Rithik and Tiger Shroff both did the same move, like let's just say like a flip, they could both be able to do it, but it would be very different different definitions like tiger shroff yeah. would give you like that big like yeah kind of martial arts big look, yeah. look to it and rithic would give you more of like a dance kind of look to it mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah i think it would yeah it's yeah. definitely like watching them in um was it jj shanker like the song yeah they definitely you could see as much as their styles were similar and they're very they athletic, were so yeah. different. They are a little bit, yeah, very different yeah. in how they they do stuff. Um, yeah, definitely uh, amazing. I'm trying to think what else we haven't talked about. Um, definitely would call him the Indian version of Jackie Chan. Yeah, like mm-hmm. he he definitely can pull off a lot of Jackie Chan moves. Yeah, but he also has that like actors look to it he's not like yeah. the best actor in the world but he definitely can like act right well. yeah. it's a little bit like, more the emotional yeah definitely like you can and... see like he has like that emotion when he goes on the motorcycle and like when he says no and then he goes on the mm-hmm. motorcycle mm-hmm. like you can see like tears in his eyes right like you can see like the emotion he has for stuff but he's better at doing his flips and yeah. martial arts yeah. than mm-hmm. he is at doing like acting yeah i know a little bit of martial arts Hi-ya! <laughs> well, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I definitely think you know, like they said, and and he was saying like it started in India, like mm-hmm. Buddha started in mm-hmm. India, and so this really, you know, where all of this comes from. A lot of things started in India mm-hmm. first before they yeah, went but to different people countries like and adapted it. Like here, like we think of like Taekwondo or martial arts as like Chinese made mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Like, because Chinese were like, oh, we have this and we're going to spread it around the world. Right. Like, India didn't do that, but right. India had it first. first. Like, they, they created it. Yeah, and you don't think of that, like, how it started in India first before no. it spread yeah. around to different parts. And that's kind of not how it's been taught, at least not to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but we know Buddhists are, it's, and, and I feel like, you know, a lot of the religions, Hinduism based on peacefulness based on peace and mm-hmm. and um you know even these fighting they don't fight they don't start the fight they don't fight for nothing just like mm-hmm. india doesn't start the war no. there's no fight for nothing they're you know you're defending yourself or you know protecting somebody else um but and and i feel like a lot of it is more um meditation and peaceful yes. and you know, meditation. kind of, you're finding yourself, right? You yeah. Know, in it, but uh, it just shows a lot about the culture and how, you know, even like thinking about the coronavirus and how, you know, the Pakistani kids mm-hmm. have been crying, like, to come home and, and their government's mm-hmm. not doing anything, but India has offered, you know, more than once to, you know, we're taking these flights. Does anybody else yeah. need help? Yeah. And, um, you Which know, is grateful. Even mm-hmm. though, you know, they're not the best of friends you know i feel like peace is always you know first and Mm -hmm. you always treat everybody with respect yeah it's a huge um thing so um but yeah this story definitely had that ramayan feel um and that ram and sita story so i have one other thing to tell us what other favorite part tell us i like when he jumped like the gate Mm-hmm. Like the middle oh, gate when he climbed, and climbed up. up it mm-hmm. and leaving the others behind. Yeah. yeah, but another thing, he put that like wire on it so oh, they yeah. shocked him all. I forgot about that. Yeah. Part. Electrocuted them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a, a Jackie Chan move too. Yeah. Uh, from a movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What other parts did you like, Jaden? I also liked one. He like jumped the building to get to like the crane thing. I forgot. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, and then and then kicked he all, like kicked both of them like he with split his, his two legs. legs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, there was a lot of fight scenes. I like when he does his like flips, like whole body and his feet. Yeah, yeah that was all. Aw- those were awesome. And and when he was in China and he they was like bet all your money mm-hmm. on me and they didn't. <laughs> well, they they didn't. were like <laughs> no because they were like. No, because, like, one person's guy was... blind. He's like, how how tall are they? And he's like, seven well, foot. He, he's seven foot, and then he's five He's like, how tall is the Italian? <laughs> he's like, oh, five foot. <laughs> he's like, bet on the big guy. But, which they should know, because they would so want a lot of money. Yeah. But um, I didn't expect him to get up there and in one hit knock him out. Yeah, he was and just that like. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 And then everybody else was shocked, and then, like, the people upstairs who were, like, big people, like, had watching, a lot of money, yeah. they were watching him because they, um, they're, like, a company for the person who, like, for the person who, um, captured Sia. Yeah. Like, Shraddha Kapoor, yeah, basically. Yeah, they're all kind of connected, interconnected, yeah. Yeah. Well, because that's, like, illegal street fighting. And yeah. So mm-hmm. I think that all, the bad people are and all And then together. they got the police to get into it after the um, person died after they poisoned him. Yeah. And and then when he went on the car, they were, like, like they, like, he gave him, like, a signal. Mm-hmm. And then he saw who was in the car, and he's, like... Well, then her father was in the car, and... That was probably one of my favorite parts is that he still had the ring when he yeah. showed her in the rain in the end because... Uh, he, her father, bought an exact replica rubber, of yeah. it and he mm-hmm. was like, he gave this back, back to me. But when they were in the rain, she was like, you still have this? And she yeah. brought out the ring her father gave to yeah. her and she's like, holy crap. Yeah, so then <laughs> like, she knew. I think that kind of put everything together Yeah, and uh, kind of soften the rain helped soften mm-hmm. i think yeah the, mm-hmm. the situation mm-hmm. there but, were a lot of rain scenes <laughs> there were a lot of rain scenes yeah, with and when the rain comes it connects their heart oh mm-hmm. and then you had to close your eyes when they were kissing i right? didn't i did <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that much a few little spots but mm-hmm. it wasn't definitely yeah. not like hollywood but there was uh-huh. one funny thing like what was the funny there part? was like they were on like a high torch thing, like a lighthouse, mm-hmm. and then a oh, girl yeah. was sitting down thinking about him, and then he walks in the door, and he, they don't see each other. I know, that was Yeah, hilarious. but another thing is she starts talking to the clouds, like, again, <laughs> again, and he's, like, right next to her, and he's, like, and then he starts laughing, and she's, like, hey, don't laugh at me. I'm, like, she was kind of, like, I was going to tell him I loved him, but now yeah. I'm not going to Because I think, that. like, she was also talking to, like, about the thunder, like, the thunder was laughter, basically, and mm-hmm. he went, and he was, like, can I talk to the clouds? Too. <laughs> <laughs> kind of their little joke really, yeah you know, yeah love story yeah really cute we mm-hmm. love this movie how many stars Jaden? out of 10 let's say out of 10 you can't go you can't go higher than 10 that doesn't you can't go higher than 10, 10 then okay. yeah because that would be like 100 out of 100 so 100 percent. yeah mm-hmm. yeah i would definitely give it probably a 10 out of 10 it was a really good movie it was a really good movie yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll give it a 10. I mean, Tiger Shroff did an awesome job. The did martial really arts he did job. in this, like, just blew me away. Mm-hmm. I, I've i seen him in other stuff, but it this really was... It blew me into the universe! Woohoo! Yeah. And Shada is adorable, and I mm-hmm. love her. Um, she does a great job, I feel yeah. like, in anything she, she does. She does a very good job, like, dancing freely. Like, mm-hmm. her yeah. body, like... Basically, in the movie, like, I feel like her body just moves on its own. Like, yeah. you can, like, see that. But mm-hmm. she she has that, like, as much as she, I feel like, is gorgeous and adorable, she mm-hmm. also has, like, that girl next door, like, mm-hmm. in the Chum Chum song, she definitely seemed a little more down to earth. You know, yeah. we've seen her in some funny clips with Street Dancer where she's, like, um, you know, trying to do dance moves and mm-hmm. she doesn't really know how to do them and stuff. So we know she seems a little bit more uh, down to earth, but she's yeah. adorable mm-hmm. and she does an awesome job acting and pretty much anything we've seen. But yeah, I love this movie. So yeah. I hope you guys loved it too. Don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.